you know almost two years now you know and um, coming out of the home and doing something new, and I was just being stifled at home so this uh, opportunity at Vanghat came up yeah. so um, close to Jim Corbett so we decided to come over and um, it was a beautiful trip from Pune though it's a little far but uh, it was I think one of the best decisions I made you know I mean right up from when we reached the um, you know uh, entrance of, to this place which is like a jungle like trek you know so the website said um, average to um, medium to average uh, fitness and as you can see I'm no one next to medium or average you know I was completely unfit just sitting and eating during COVID I didn't think I would make it but I did so if I can I'm sure anybody can and um, apart from that, the entire trek was so gorgeous, I tell you. It was just beautiful, the tall trees, that itself, that entry experience, you know. Seeing all the crowd down at Jim Corbett, I was like, oh my God. But this was like a gateway to heaven. Just through those, you know, rocks and the water and the tall trees. And then we come into this beautiful Vanguard. Oh, the cottages. You know, the people, I met Anurag right outside over there. So, of course, you know, uh, Samanto was there with me all through the trek. I mean, so he held my hand through the trek and uh, helped me wherever I needed help. And then uh, right at the entrance, I saw Anurag with this big smile. Hi, welcome to Vanguard. And I got a nice hug and, you know, everything. So, yeah, so we came. Um, so when I came, I was wondering, like, okay, how is this going to be? Because normally you go to a place and, you know, it's a wildlife you, uh, thing. You know your agenda. You're going to go for a safari in the morning. You're going to go for a safari in the evening. And that's about it, you know. And uh, in between, this let you do your shopping or whatever, you know. So I thought, okay, let's see what this is. did have an itinerary given to us where we'd, we'd be doing some, you know, we'd be getting some insight from environmental experts. But when you talk about environmental experts, I thought maybe one person might be giving some lecture, you know, classroom kind of a thing. But there was this entire team called, uh, from a, a, a panel of experts and environmentalists from uh, Rewild Ed, you know and uh, they were fantastic there were about uh, eight of them so and um, so with, with they enlightened us on field as well as there were a few classroom sessions happening um, but they were so interesting my god you know we were literally like wow what's next don't stop don't stop no we are not tired no no go on go on like yeah so because we go for these treks in the morning so there's a morning trek where we go bird watching and you know, they're telling us about trees, they're telling us about barks. So you're touching, feeling things, you know. You're touching the water, you're touching the trees, you're touching the leaves. You're touching, you know, you're run, rummaging through feces of, you know, scat and poop and pellets and, you know, smelling things. And so it's just so wonderful. So uh, even in the classroom, you know, in spite of all that walking, when we come back, it's like, no, no, don't stop. Please go on. Lunch can wait. You know, no, no, we don't want to sleep in the afternoon. We don't want to, you know, break in the afternoon. So there was a lot of excitement. The team was so good. There was so much of insight, you know, in-depth insight. Yet everything was packaged so well. Everything was beautifully put together. And the food, oh my God. I have never eaten so well, you know, the fresh air and... I don't know what it is. The water comes from the spring. It's so wonderful. My God. This is something I would suggest everybody should do. At least once in your lifetime. At least once. It just changes your outlook towards life. And it changes you as a person. You know, you just uh, are so much more calmer and so much more tuned well-tuned you know and um, everybody I, I, I think you know um, for the mega fee that has been charged considering you know you're staying here for almost five days with a beautiful accommodation the lodges are so gorgeous and they're so comfortable and the people are so friendly so um, yeah this is something that 
nobody should miss especially if you're from the city you know to get away from that stress none of your other tours are going to work the way this works this is like therapy of a different level and the kind of people i've met during this uh, tour you know these are memories i'm going to take back forever and these are friends i'm going to have forever so like i said you know it's almost like a family so and and this course has also taught me so many things that you know i can um, it's I, i call it a course actually it's not a course it was more uh, of an experience so um it's uh, now tomorrow when i go out just for a walk around my house also i'm going to look at everything so differently you know whether it's a plant whether it's a twig whether it's a leaf whether it's a rock whether it's an insect you know every little thing is going to look new it's going to look different it's going to look special you know and i'm going to notice all those tiny features oh this wing oh this is these pellets oh you know look at this plant oh how soft it is oh look at the veins oh look at this bark you know everything has changed i think my life has changed now so you must do this you know it it's highly recommended and uh, the people are just fantastic so don't miss out on this opportunity ever and uh, yeah i mean where the days went by and absolutely nothing digital works here uh, you have to go to the river bed to make a phone call which is even beautiful like you know that's another excuse to go back to the river bed every now and then um and even the ambiance you know so um samanto has created this ambiance that just you know, so there are no uh, electricity is you know electrical bulbs and all are not used so much except for in the rooms or maybe in you know where we have a little uh, setup where we talk to each other and, you know that set up for everybody to discuss uh but the dining area everything is just lit with candles and uh kerosene lamps and there are kerosene lamps kept on the you know to show you the path i'm so beautiful you know and at the end of the day also you know everybody congregates have some good food it's almost like a family now it doesn't and i don't know where the days have gone it's almost the end you know i could just live here i mean i don't know if i'll, I'll when i go back I'm so not looking forward to going back to wearing a mask and living with sanitizers and things like that and four walls but um, yeah I think I'll, I'm going to leave my heart behind here not just as a place but also with the people so yeah it's lovely thank you so much <laughs>